Good evening. It's a very beautiful, very chilly December evening here at Greenbank Farm. And I think I might have mentioned in a, in a video uh, last week or even over the weekend that uh, on Monday you'd find out a little bit more about why all our fundraising is particularly important to us right now. It's always very important to us. Uh, but right now it's even more important than, than ever. This little fella here, um, none of you, even those of, of you who pride yourself on knowing who each of our horses are, um, you're not going to know who this is because this young man, what you filming now, only arrived with us a few hours ago. So I'd like to introduce you, if I can show you a little bit better. <laughs> oh, that's perfect timing, absolute perfect timing. Um, <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Obi. So Obi has had a long journey to us today and he is our newest resident, uh, taking the number of Frisians here to 14 from our 13 and Obi has been surrendered to us by his owners who contacted me uh, a while ago after seeing uh, on actually ride tv uh, or fei tv uh, their ride series that they did with us they heard about the work that we do at the sanctuary and without giving you the full details, unfortunately, they found themselves in a position where they weren't able to look after Obi anymore. Now, we all know that life can change in an instant. Uh, things can happen that make life very, very difficult. And this can have a knock on effect to how, how we can look after our animals. Um, and our pets and as you know Hannes who I'm going to just spin this round he's actually just over there in front of me Hannes was the first boy uh, that got left with us he was actually abandoned with us by his owner who uh, wasn't very honest about the, her situation so her life had obviously changed quite dramatically and she just didn't let me know the full story and she just left him here, left him here with, with all his bills, um, all sorts of medical problems. Are you going to knock my camera over now? And he's, he's the reason, he's one of the main reasons why we do now run as a sanctuary. <laughs> Obi's determined to photobomb me. Now... If, if somebody's completely honest with me, then I'll always do something to help them. And we've helped a number of horses over the years that have come here as a temporary measure. We've had others that have come um, on a more permanent basis. And I think what, what struck me about the situation with Hannes and then subsequently Micah and Norcha was that people didn't feel comfortable telling me that their lives had turned upside down and that for whatever reason, whatever was going on in their lives, they weren't able to look after their horses anymore. So I thought if, if I can be open and, and, you know, say to anybody who's struggling with their own Frisian that we're here to help if we can, um, then hopefully people would be honest back with me. And, and, you know, when there's honesty, then you can look at each situation and, and try and do the best that you can to help somebody. Without going on about it, um, basically this little fella, um, as I say, the owners uh, found, um, he's, he's jointly owned uh, by, by two people. And unfortunately, one of them is is suffering with with very poor health, so isn't in a position to look after him any anymore. I'll just show you a slightly better picture of him. He's there, busy munching. Let me see if I can move this. He's busy munching on his haylage. 
so they did the responsible thing and they got in touch with me and said is there something that we can do here to help because this little fella and he is a little fella at the moment he's 18 years old so he is an older boy and he's had a life i believe i don't know a massive amount about him but i know that he's he's been driven so he's had a life of driving he did have a friend who unfortunately they lost and he's not done anything for several years now uh, just because of the owner's ill health i'm just going to whip his rugs off for you uh, just so that you can see a little bit more of him But basically they got in touch with me to say they're just not in a position to look after him anymore and a lot of people would have either tried to sell him or pushed him on from pillar to post and or even had him put down and you know so sometimes as awful as it sounds with an older horse sometimes that can be the kindest thing to do particularly if they've never been anywhere else in their lives but we know with OB that he's he's been to several places, so it's not unusual for him to, to move location. So we said, you know, we'd, we'd take him on and we'd do the very best that we could for him. So he's arrived today, I'll just whip his rug off. And as I say, he is an older boy. Um, He's 18 years old, and funnily enough, he's um, he's quite closely related to to Hoitzer. So he's got the same father as Hoitzer, who, as you a lot of you will know, is one of my <laughs> big original chunky Frisians. And his mother's father is the same as Hida's father, so Jasper. Um, He's arrived, he's very, he's arrived, he's traveled um, very well here. He was brought up by a lady and her transport company uh, for quite a long journey. He didn't sweat up, very relaxed and happy. And as you can see there, he's happily munching away. Um, but as you can see, you know, he, he is rather on, on the lean side. And this is where I have, have total respect for the owners for doing the responsible thing and getting in touch with me to ask whether we could take him on. Now, in all honesty, you know, we're not in a position financially um, to be able to take on another horse because, you know, things are tough for a lot of people around the world at the moment and, you know, things, everything's going up. So, so our costs have increased. But we're very lucky here, as I've said in, in many other videos before, in that we've got the land. You know, this farm has been in, in my family for over 100 years. We've got land here. So we are in a position where we, we can take on horses and at least have them grazing on the land. You know, we've got plenty of haylage because we make our own, which keeps our costs down. Um, and I will always be happy to sort of give that as, as much as I can so that we can help as many horses as we can. Where it gets difficult is obviously the ongoing cost of keeping them, um, not just feed or, or bedding, but just the day to day care of the horses. Um, and, you know, there obviously is a cost to that. And, and, you know, this is why, as I said in my videos last week, our fundraising is vital. You know, we can do so much to help horses like this, um, but we do need extra support. So we, we have all sorts of activities that we have going on here. As you know, we have our Meet the Horses tours, our yard experiences, our stable stays, our friendship barn, our carriage drives, our custom experiences, lots of different things where people can come along and visit. And, you know, we do obviously ask for, for a payment because, but every single penny of that goes towards the day-to-day -day care of these horses and their happiness and welfare is our priority. 
which is why we stopped the riding because we found the horses were much happier, but I'm not gonna go on in this video about that. So I just wanted to share with you one of the other reasons, like I said the other day, why the, the continued fundraising is important to us. And I'm really sorry if it gets boring and I harp on about it too much, um, but I just wanted to, to show you this little guy. And what we'll obviously do is we'll share his story with you because I would like to think that even in a couple of months, he might look um, a little more in condition than he currently does. Um, and, and as I said, this is absolutely no disrespect to the owner at all. You know, they found themselves in a very difficult position. So rather than letting him get into a really poor state or, as I say, pushing him from pillar to post or trying to sell him, they got in touch with us. And I said, you know, we would we would be happy to take him on. And he is he is a proper little sweetheart. As I say, he's only been here for a couple of hours um but he's been very sweet but it's going to be really interesting um over the the coming weeks to get to know more about his personality just particularly because he's got the same father as Hoitzer um and so closely related to Hida so it's going to be interesting to see whether there's any similarities in in character so he's arrived here tonight he's having a night in my plan is to pop him out into the field in front of our house uh, tomorrow. So he won't go straight in with the herd. He has had a strangles test done before he came here because it's one of our um, biosecurity measures that we do. We don't ever have a horse come onto the yard unless they've been tested for strangles. So he had a clear result for that. I'm not going to put him straight out with the herd because I think that would that would be quite mean, especially with the likes of Zhao um, and Yolanda out there and obviously Hida being quite dominant at the moment. So we, we're going to give him a bit of time to find his feet. We're going to pop him out into the field in front of the house with either Anya or Hannes or a couple of the girls um, that we'll take out of there. He's obviously going to be needing more feed than the others. Um, so he'll be getting a couple of feeds a day and it's really important the way that we manage that and make sure that we just start to build him up gradually because we can't just throw a whole load of feed at him because you know his, his, his system's not going to cope with that straight away. But hopefully, um, you know, if you all follow his journey on here, you'll be able to see where we go with him um, to try and get him looking a bit more like um, the other Frisians that live here. Um, because, you know, we have a certain way that we like them to look and to feel. Um, you know, it, it, it's not everybody's way of, of, of keeping horses, but it's the way that we like to keep them. Um, we like to keep them looking and feeling as well as possible. So, sorry, I've, as usual, waffled on an awful lot. Um, I could probably be more concise, but but that's not me is it so i'm going to leave you having a little look at, at him a little bit closer let me take you in a little bit closer to him as i said his name is obi he's got very very cute little fluffy ears very very sweet kind eye and we were commenting earlier he's got proper thick frisian fluffy legs um that obviously most of ours are all clipped out these days. So he's got a nice thick coat on him. But as you can see, we can see a few ribs there. And obviously up here, we just need to get a little bit of flesh on there and a little bit of muscle just to build him up a little bit. He is an older boy, but, he, you know, he's he's only a couple of years younger than, younger than Hoitzer and Hida who I know a little on the tubby side. And you know, being tubby can be as bad as being on the slim side. Um, but we're gonna do our best for him to get him in good shape. But you know, in his eyes and in his, in his demeanor, he's happy and well enough. So I'm not worried that he's, he's poorly. 
uh, we just need to get the condition on him and try and give him the best life that we can. So again, going back to the raffle um, and all your support, whether you've joined us as a patron, whether you've sponsored one of the horses, um, a huge thank you again. It, it's a great help uh, to allow us to keep doing what we do um, and helping horses uh, like Obi, Ice Bear, Hannes, Micah, you know, almost 50% of our horses here now are ones that have, have arrived with us on the sanctuary scheme. Meanwhile, over there is my diva, Anya, who wasn't on the sanctuary scheme, but she gets spoilt anyway. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and we'll keep you posted on Obi's journey. Do not intimidate the new guy. Cool. Good morning, everybody, for those, and welcome back. Um, I just currently have a free range chicken, otherwise known as Anya. The world is her oyster today, as she has free range of the of the top farm. She's just sniffing out this rug here because she can smell that it's not one of her her normal companions, as it belongs to to our new our new resident who is in here. Mr. Obi, who is currently tucking into his breakfast. Isn't that right, little man? Yes. And he is going to be going out with Hannes over there, who I'm just about to rug up and pop some drops in his eye and also brush his hair because he's got a seriously bad case of bedhead. Yes. Annie, no. Go on. Go and eat some grass. Trying to rub her neck there. There we go. Bye, love you. She won't go far, she never does. There we go, off she goes. Okay, so it's the morning after, the night before, and we have little man Obi just stood out here. So he's had his breakfast and he's going to go out in the field today with Hennis over there. And yeah, he's a very sweet little man. Aren't you? Yes. Very sweet little man. Good boy. So he's on the cross ties here. Not quite sure if he's been cross tied before, so I've just left his rope on just in case. But he seems more than happy enough. Because sometimes when they're put on the cross ties for the first time, because obviously it's on both sides rather than just the one, um, they can panic a little bit and pull back. Um, but they soon they soon learn to give in to the pressure. So but he doesn't seem to have a problem with that. And you can see, you know, he's been nicely looked after. He's been well loved in his previous home. Um, but they obviously, you know, his previous owners, as much as they loved him, they obviously just didn't, they'd fallen on hard times and just obviously weren't in a position to keep him anymore. Um, that said, you know, as I said, you can see he's been well cared for, uh, but he is a little bit leaner than we like ours to be. Um, so we will be feeding him up um, and I think as well you know we've got lots of grass here as well which will help but yeah he's gonna spend a nice day outside in the field with Hennis. Good boy. Here's the young man on his first morning, little Obi. So Holly's got in there so we've just brought him out, he's had his breakfast and we're going to just take him up to the arena because it was dark when he arrived last night so we couldn't really take a look much but we're just going to let him loose in there just to get an idea of how he's moving but already I can see from the way he's walking he, he, he looks actually quite athletic and quite loose which is always good for an older horse he's actually got quite a big walk on him He's very, very sweet. As you can see, our arena's a, a little bit white this morning. Let's see how he moves. Well, he's brave, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, he's a proper region, isn't he? he is a proper region. <laughs> but you know, he, he, he looks like a very happy, well little horse. Okay, yes, he's lean. We know he's lean, but as I said in the video yesterday, he, he doesn't look unwell at all. 
He's come from a very loving home and they were obviously absolutely gutted to let him go. But watching him here, at least there's, there's nothing obvious that would tell us that there's any severe lameness. I don't think I'm, I'm watching through the screen. Can you see anything, Holly, that, that's alerted you? Go on, you video for a bit and I'll see. He doesn't reach quite the same, does he? Hello, sweetheart. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, he's come here not, not to do any work. He's just come here to live his life, have a nice time. We're not looking to do anything with him unless he wants to. And he is 19 now. Um, is he 19 or 18? I think he's 18, isn't he? Oh, OK. Was he born in 2004? Oh, yeah, so he's 18 then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's the same age as you, Hall. Aww. So yeah, we're gonna get his jumper on, um, get him turned out. We're just gonna put him with Hannes today, yeah? Yeah. Um, and let him eat some nice grass. So we'll show you a bit of more, bit more video of that once he goes out. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So, Obi's first trip out into the, into the field and he's meeting Hannes for the first time. So Obi's got a nice pink rug on. That's Hannes in his Cadbury. He's marched down the driveway quite happy, so he's obviously quite bold and quite confident. I believe that he's been in a field on his own so I don't think he generally goes out with other, other horses. That's what I've been led to believe. So interesting that he's, he's not really chatted to Hannes. Oh, there we go. Can have a bit more of a chat now? No. So he'll have a day out here. <laughs> and then he will be living out like a lot of the others do because it is far more natural for them here's the three boys there's Iceman on a nice icy day what a beautiful morning look at that sky here's Obi hello little Obi how was your first night out I think there was a bit of running round once Ice joined you, wasn't there? But you, Ice, Holly's having to go down and get a head collar at the moment. That's why she's traipsing across the field. And Hannes seem okay together. So he's looking quite happy. But they're all going to come in this morning because obviously Obi needs his breakfast. Ice is actually wanting to go down with Holly and go down to the field with the girls because he'd far rather be out with them. <laughs> uh, but he's going to come in today anyway. I was just loath to put Obi straight out with the entire herd without him having some friends out there first because otherwise that's a lot of horses for him to be chased off by. So at least if he's got to know Hannes, Ice and Veebs before he goes down there, when Hidda's doing his dominant bit, then at least Obi's got some friends that he can go off with. So even if we just do this for a couple of days, and like I've said in another video, it's going to be a bit of juggling horses over the next week or two, just till we get the dynamics right and make sure that everybody's happy. Look, they're all... Look, Obi's going to go down and join Ice now. 
Hannes knows better. He knows to stay up here because he's coming in. But it's all new to Obi. He's got to get to know how we do things, the way it all works here. And it will just take a little while for him to learn all that. I'm going to go and give Holla a hand and get head collars on and bring them up for their breakfast.